All right, so this is a really cool thing about the periodic table is the way that it is actually organized. And so we're gonna learn about that right now. If you see here, uh, the period is the blue and it's a horizontal row, right? So right here you see, and uh, let me just highlight that right here, draw the line right here. So again, this horizontal row right here, this whole thing is a period, right? So, uh, and the way these are organized right here is these periods is basically for every row or every period. So like this one right here, this first period just includes H and H E. And all this is saying right here is in, in this first period that the, that there is uh, one shell. So <clears throat> what you're going to see right here is like in this case, and let me just kind of skip ahead is that all of these atoms have shells, right? They have shells around them. So here you see hydrogen has one shell. Helium right here has one shell. And that's why they are in the first row in that first period, because they only have one shell. So you're going to see here lithium, carbon, and neon. You see they have one right here, two right there. They have two shells. This one has two shells. This one has two shells. So what it's telling you right here is that the second period or the second row, each one is going to have two shells, right? And then when you get down here to the third period, you're going to see that they're going to have three shells. And that's why they are in the third period, because they have three shells. Again, if they're in the second period, they have two shells. If they're in the first period, they have one shell and so on, right? So in the fourth period, they're going to have four shells. In the fifth period, and let me get to that right here. So right here, the first one, they're going to have one shell. And then here, they're going to have two shells. And then here, they're going to have three shells, four shells, five shells. And that's how they're broken up like this. All of these have six shells. These have seven shells, right? So that's why they are in these rows or right here, these periods is because that's how many shells they have, right? So again, that is a period. Now let's look, let me erase this really quick and let's look at the groups or families. So let me just try to get all these numbers. All right, so now we have right here, we're looking at the, the group or the family, right? We just talked about the periods, the, the rows. Now we're talking about the columns, right? The vertical ones. And what this means right here, the way they're broken up in groups and the reason they're like this is because if you look at this right here, Let's look at this one. What this means is that on its outer shell, it only has one electron, right? All of these right here in this column right here, all of them just on their outer shell have one electron. And right here, you can't, can't see it because of the blue, but this one is a two. And what this is saying is that everything in these outer shells right here only have two electrons, right? And again, we're not going to really concern ourselves with these. This is more for an advanced chemistry class, but for now, let's focus on these. So right here, it's kind of a shame that they covered this, but this should be a 13. And for this one, you really don't pay attention to the one. What you want to pay attention to, though, is the second number, the three. And this three is telling you that there are three electrons on the outer shell of each one of these. This is a 14. And again, don't pay attention to the one, pay attention to the four. And what this is going to tell you is that all of these have a four electrons on their outer shell. This is 15, <clears throat> and what this is saying again, pay attention to the five, not the one, is that all of these have a five, five electrons on their outer shell. 16 has six on the outer shell, 17 has seven on the outer shell, and then 18 right here has eight on its outer shell. That's how they're broken up into groups or families, right? And we're gonna see why this is important later. Uh, the outer electrons are especially important when it comes for one atom bonding with another one, right? So again, periods they're that way because again this first uh period here they only have one shell second period has two third period has three shells fourth period has four and so on groups or families remember the number on top is telling you how many electrons they have on their most outer shell and let me just show you that right here in this uh, image again here you see again this right there is in that first column and the one column it only has the one this one right here is in the three column and there are, sorry, this one is also in the one column because there's only one electron on its outer shell. This one is also in the one column because there's only one electron on its outer shell. All right, so let's talk about 